when you're part of Kyle Shanahan's offense at an early, early stage, is it is it as easy as a plug and play model? <laughs> you're, you're telling me I can just plug it's, it in? It's one read. And it just it just it, it's gonna work. Regardless of the level of the competition. Okay, like, so, okay, first of all, let's go ahead and knock that out. It's not one read. Stop disrespecting that. First of all, don't you, disrespect okay, one and a half. quarterbacks in Kyle Shanahan system this is what by saying it's a one read system. Ball, it's not they at do. all. And Jay, it's not a plug and play type of situation because the offense they're going to run with Trey Lance is completely different than the offense they ran with Jimmy Garoppolo. It will be more run based. There will be more designed quarterback runs in those situations, but it's going to add a dynamicness to their offense that you know what Jimmy G, if the play is there, there, he's going to make it. But if it's not there, he's throwing the ball away or throwing it to the other team. With Trey Lance, he's going to be able to make plays with his legs. The dynamicness of that second reaction play, the one that the coach didn't know was there, and that's going to make Kyle Shanahan better because now he's going to be calling plays that he knows are there, and when it's not, he's going to have to trust Trey Lance is going to make the right plays with the ball. RG3, I know you are the expert in this category, so I'm asking you once again. Yeah, you're not, not as a quarterback, Bart. That's not you. That's RG3. Isn't there – would I be remiss to think that there's a learning curve that comes along it with being a quarterback and making those reads in those kind of situations? Because everybody has a plan. Mike Tyson used to always say this, until they get punched in the mouth. So I hear how the dynamic is different than what it would be with Jimmy G. But let's not be remiss about the learning curve that is going to take place for Trey Lance to get that offense to a point where it feels like it can make the extra plays to be an additive product to the defense, right? Is that not fair? No, no, Jay, that, that is completely fair. There is going to be a learning curve for Trey Lance, but the only way that he's going to be able to get on or off of that curve is to go out and play the game. Patrick Mahomes went through this when he sat behind Alex Smith. He came in year two, and he was able to go out there and make plays that we had never seen before. So I don't, I'm not saying that Trey Lance is going to be Patrick Mahomes. He's got to go out there and prove it himself with his play. But having sat a year and gotten a little bit of playing time last year is going to help him him go out there and make that adjustment faster in year two. It's not like he's coming in as a true rookie who wasn't in, in a system for an entire season. Trey Lance is going to have a head start because he kind of had a red shirt year. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.